Hey guys, Bobry18 here, and welcome back to more Skyward Sword. In the last part, we finished the Earth Temple, and in this part, we will be going back up to the sky to do stuff in between areas, and also put the tablet, or the tablet we got in the last part, in the uh, goddess statue, because that's that's technically like the next story thing that we have to do. And in fact, that's the first thing that I'm going to do because, um, while I don't think anything really triggers when you put that in. Um, I'm just doing it first just to get it out of the way so I don't forget it, actually, to be honest. Because I kind of feel like I might forget it if I don't, because... I mean, there's not a whole lot of stuff that we're going to be doing in this part, and in fact, this is going to be the only, like, in-between areas part, and... Um... Uh, it's definitely not going to be as long as the next part, at one, because there's not that much to do. Um, and two, most of the stuff that we'll be doing is actually, to be honest, flying, so... I'm going to be speeding that up, so, you know, so you don't have to sit through that so, 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 if I can say that enough. Um, yeah, you can land right by the bird statue, so that's kind of, the bird statue, the goddess statue, so that's kind of good. Anyway, once inside, again, just put the thing in the thing. Woohoo. Like I pointed out in the last part, it is the biggest piece there. It's basically, like, half the whole thing, and which makes sense, because... It's the biggest area in the game, like I said in the last part, so... Are you looking forward to it? Because I am! Yeah, it's... It actually has probably my favorite dungeons in the game in that area, but probably my least favorite overworld, so... Actually, no, I think I think I like it. its overworld better than Elden, maybe? I don't know. Farron's probably my favorite overworld, just because I like the foresty area, but... It has my favorite dungeon in the game, so that's good anyway. I've confirmed the location of the third opening in the cloud barrier in the sky to the southwest. It will allow you to reach a new area on the surface. I suggest going there as soon as you're suitably, suitably prepared. Yeah, okay. So no big cutscene or anything. In fact, there wasn't really for Elden either, but after, when we unlocked Elden, we unlocked like the whole gratitude crystal thing. Uh, there's not. We're not going to be doing anything like that in this part. And in fact, there's no new gratitude crystal side quests that open after you beat the Earth Temple. Uh, they're after we beat the next dungeon, but not after we beat the Earth Temple. Um, so really the only gratitude crystals we could go after are those individual ones that I said that aren't really worth going after right now because we can't get them all, and that's still true, so I'm not going to be going after them right now. Um, and there's the uh, gratitude crystal quest with the shopkeep lady, but that'll only get us five, and I think... Yeah, we have 15, and I think the next one is at... Actually, maybe the next one is at 20. I'm not positive, but... but um, I, I think if we talk to her, she'll have a few things left. Oh yeah, by the way, um, in the last part, when I was, um, when I was coming back to upgrade my potions and stuff, I actually talked to the item check girl to, uh, to exchange, uh, I, th I think it was to get out another bottle or something. Yeah, I think it was to get out another bottle. Um, and there was a cutscene that played with her that, had a progression of the quest with her, like the Gratitude Crystal quest that I was just talking about. Um, I'll show that now, just so you can see it. I actually did commentate over it. It was just, it's not really that long. It's just sort of a pro progression in the quest that I want to show because it's part of the quest. So yeah, I'll show that right now. Oh, uh, when I was coming back to the bazaar, apparently something happened with the girl. So, uh, that has to do with the side quest. So I guess I'll commentate over this. Um, you, do you come by here just to see me, do you? Uh, uh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> well, it kind of is, I mean, to do the side quest. What, really? Yeah, all right, you think I'm going to fall for that old line? Whatever, true, that might be kind of nice. Oh, I almost forgot, I still have a job to do. You have something to forgive me to hold? Okay, I guess that's it. On to whatever else I was doing wherever I cut this in. Okay, yeah, that, that was that that happened, um... Anyway, I don't think that there's going to be another, like, dialogue thing this time. She's just going to say, hey, you're the item check, you need to drop things off, yes, because, um, spoilers, the next area has to do with electric stuff, so we probably don't want an iron shield out. In fact, I'm going to get the wooden shield out, and we're actually going to go upgrade it, because I never actually did that in the last part, I just upgraded my iron shield, so, uh, we'll upgrade it now. And, it, and like the iron shield, it has two stages, like I showed in the last part. Uh, upgrade gear, and I, I, th I, I'm not positive. Um, okay, yeah, those are all the things that we had before, so we can upgrade it for the first time. But I'm not sure if upgrading it to the third tier um, is like if we've seen all the items before. But I'm just gonna do it anyway because it'll, it, it almost feels a little silly to go by that rule. I think, especially because hero mode, like I said in the last part, if it's gonna be dickish, 
I mean, really, me falling in the lava... Well, that, I guess that was two parts ago. But me falling in the lava and getting a game over was kind of my fault. But if the game wants to take away two hearts for every one, then I'm going to... I'm going to upgrade more stuff, god dang it. And yeah, this we haven't seen yet. It's in the next area, actually. But I'm going to upgrade it anyway because I don't care. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, it would just feel silly to have the level 2 shield when I can clearly get the level 3 shield. Um, I'm not going to upgrade the bug net or the or the slingshot yet, just, just for story's sake. Because like upgrading the shield to another tier doesn't really do anything. Like It's not an actual item. Like, it doesn't help you anymore, like, solving puzzles and stuff, like, it basically just protects me more, so, I, I think that'll be fine. So, uh, yeah, that's that. And remember to actually equip the shield once you upgrade it. That's a problem I've had before, and I've seen other people forget to actually equip it. So you want to make sure you do that. Uh, he has some more stuff to sell. I'm pretty sure he's just going to talk about the bomb bag, but actually we're going to go get one in one of the, uh, um, in one of the, uh, goddess chest that we unlocked. That's another thing we're going to be doing in this part, and that's why I said it's mostly flying. Because, other than that, uh, item check girl's quest, which I'm not gonna, which I'm gonna let progress naturally, there's no other, uh, quest that we can do besides go get the goddess key, or yeah, the goddess chest, so, um, I'm pretty sure they're all in the sky. Yeah, sometimes they will appear in Skyloft, and actually, where is that? Um, I'm going actually going to go see where that is, because I, di I didn't know there was one in Skyloft. It might, if it's what I'm thinking of, it we might not be able to actually reach it yet. Um, but it looks like it's right here. Uh, maybe? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, it's in this little shed right here, look at it. Um, and we have to actually be able to swim in there, which we can't do yet. Uh, hmm, maybe we'll be getting... Be getting the ability to swim. I don't know. Point being, though, um, we can't get that chest yet. So just hold off, and we'll be able to get it eventually. Don't you worry. Um, but uh, I'm just gonna go get the ones in the sky right now. I'm pretty sure there's like three on this side of the um, sky, and like one on the other side. So yeah, that's fun. Flying from one area to another. Let me see. Oh yeah, there's one over here and three over here. So uh, I guess I'll get the three over here just because the one over here is closer to. Lanayru, even though I'm gonna end off the part before we go into Lanayru, I think. Well, it depends, I guess. Well, maybe not, I don't know. Because if I speed this uh, part up but I'm flying, if I'm not talking, but uh, if I speed this part up while I'm flying, I don't think it should be that much of a problem. Oh, actually, no, no. I, I'm glad I came over here first, because I wanted to show this. Um, um, I remember talking about this minigame where I have to cut bamboo down, and that's actually over here. It doesn't get, like, you a heart, it doesn't get you, like, a heart piece or anything. But I guess there's a goddess chest on this island, so I want to show off this mini game regardless. And I wanted to show off show it off anyway, so I'm glad I like came over here first before I started speeding everything up. Uh, here's the chest. I think actually I I honestly have no idea what it is. I'm not even gonna guess. Okay, rupees. You could always use rupees. Oh yeah, we also need to go to beetle shop because I think I I don't think we can get that much, but I want to get at least another upgrade to my adventure pouch just cuz. And I think we'll be able to afford it, so after we do this, I'll go get that. Um, but here we have a rather fat guy. Okay, this is actually the shopkeeper's father. So yeah, that's he'll get involved in the quest once we get like later into it. But anyway, uh, well, I already know who you are. So what is this place? Here's my secret spot where I come to work my the kinks out of my sword arm. Okay. There's a time I was most popular guy in all of Skylot. Folks were always cheering me on like it was a parade, but you know, time passes. And I'm not the young buck I used to be. I eat when I get stressed, and I'm all worried about my darling daughter all the time. I mean, look at this belly. Yeah, I can tell you eat. So that's why I... So that's what drives a feather here, feller here to chop some bamboo. Let me tell you, there's no better way to sweat off these pounds. By moving your arms, it doesn't feel very... Like, you would burn off calories. Or, I mean, you would, but you wouldn't, like... It's not, like, cardio work. You wouldn't, like, running or anything. I don't know. Anyway, here's an idea, Bob. Why don't you try slicing some bamboo? Sure. That's his favorite. Chop away, boy. Hold up a sec. Get your horse hold... Get your horses hold it. Okay. There's gotta be a way to spice up things in Nacho 3. Hmm. Yep, that's the ticket right there. Yes, that's a long bamboo stick. You're gonna take a swing at that... At whittling down that old bamboo right in the middle of the room thing is, see, it's a contest to see how many cuts you can make before it hits the ground. If you're good enough, you'll stroll up here with the prize. And it's 10 rupees, because of course it is. Okay. 
20 rupees isn't that much, so I will do it, and we'll get to slicing. So basically, uh, here's where the motion controls can kind of screw you over. But uh, just try and do as many horizontal slices as you can. What? Try and do a lot of horizontal slices. Ah, okay, well, 21. I think he wants you to actually get like 28 on the first time, which I think my high score is like 26 or something. Maybe it's 28, I don't know. Um, oh, okay. I think we'll get, yeah, like a small treasure, or a not very rare treasure for doing that. I think if we get up to like 28, like he'll probably about to say, we'll probably get like a rare treasure or something. Yeah, 28. Um, I'll, I'll try it one more time. I have some rupees to spare. And now that I think about it, uh, there is actually a way to sell treasures, so maybe this technically could be a money-making uh, thing. I'll, I'll probably show that off later, maybe in this video if we have time. Because uh, that's actually kind of a useful thing, like if you have treasure there, or bugs even. Well, bugs you sell from someone else, but it's in the same way. Ah, uh, okay, wow, that's really... Ah, uh, uh, come on. Oh, wow, I didn't even get my other side score in. Okay, that sounded really... Weird when I was doing that. I was just trying to concentrate and, you know, waggling the Wii remote. I probably looked silly as hell while I was doing that, but anyway. Oh, you, okay, you get 30 rupees for not getting 20. I feel like that's a better trade than getting treasures that I don't need. Okay, um. Oh, if we get a longer blade in the. F okay, well, maybe I'll come back when. If we get a longer blade. I don't know if we're gonna get a longer bla blade, but if that happens to happen. Maybe we'll come back here and show it again, because that would be interesting. Anyway, now I will speed up the stuff until we get to the other island. I'm actually going to mark this here, just for my own sake. And I will see you when we get to the other island, even though it's probably not going to take that long. Oh my god! <gasps> Oh my god! I really thought I was gonna land on that, and I was trying so hard to because I wanted to get off. I wanted to get that boost from the from the thing, but I also wanted to land on the platform. So I was like, "Oh, please!" And then he looked like he was gonna land on it, but he didn't. Oh my god! Anyway, the treasure is on hundred rupees. Oh, wow, okay. I will take that. Definitely, especially because we need money to buy stuff from Beetle. Anyway, speeding up again. Whoa, coming in fast, are we? Hmm. Anyway, uh, I think the treasure is actually down here. Cause oh my god, what? You, you didn't even get any chance to. Ugh. Anyway, I think the treasure is down here. Cause this island actually has a few, um, a few goddess chests on it. But you know, like only one of them are actually unlocked this time. And I think it's the one down here. Cause there's also one on the other side where there's behind a bombable wall. Which you'd think that it would be the one behind the bombable walls, considering we just got bombs from the dungeon. But I guess not. Um, and we got a treasure medal. Actually, I'm probably going to keep this with me because tre some treasure can be kind of scarce to come by, so it'll be good to have it with me. I don't think it said it'd send it back to the thing. Uh, I can't open my... never mind. I can't open my menu when I'm in here, so... Um, anyway, I'll speed it up again until we get to the other thing once I put this over here. That's going to be a long fly, so I will see you when we get over there. Wahoo. Oh, I accidentally made my bird hit the wall when I when I was getting off of him. I'm that probably sounds really bad, but it almost got, it looks a little funny when he hits the wall. He just like bounces off of it and like it, the voice of his screech like slowly fades away. Okay, I guess we didn't get a bomb bag from one of those chests, but we got a seed satchel. But I'm pretty sure we'll get a bomb bag later. Anyway, yeah, that's kind of a funny thing. Anyway, um. Yeah, so now that we got all those goddess chests, and I'm actually going to remove the beacon because I kind of want it with me, because why not? I don't know. I just Perfectionism, OCD, I don't know. Um, now we can go back to Skyloft, and my 
timer thing doesn't even say we're up to 20 minutes. Um, and it's going to be even, it says we're up to like 16, and it's going to be even less with those speed ups. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is actually do what I was going to, or we're going to do what I was uh, talking about earlier, which is uh, talk, or show where you can sell um, both bugs and treasures, because like I said, it's actually pretty useful and a pretty good way to make money. Especially with the bugs, if you don't upgrade potions, like, ever. It's a pretty good way to make money, so... Also, it's a good chance to show the rest of, like, the, um... Like, town area over here. Well, actually, the place where you sell bugs is actually in... In the... Uh... In the academy at night, though, so... Actually, I'm gonna sell these... Or I'm gonna catch these blessed butterflies just so I have something to sell. I know I have stuff to sell, and... I know there's bugs that I don't need, but, you know, just extra. Oh my god, get back here. No. There, got it. I don't know. This is just right here. I was right passing by them. It's fine. I'm just going to get them to sell. I have time to waste. I mean, I probably... I don't want to waste your time, but... I mean, you are watching this video anyway. Come back here. Please. I won't hurt you. I'm just going to sell you to a guy. Oh my god. Fine. You're not worth it. You want your freedom? There, have it. I don't care. Ugh. Anyway. Maybe start another one over here. Oh my god, there's another... Have I even caught one of the... Oh no, we caught one right at the beginning, I think. When... Or no, wait. We just dropped that one down for that kid. But we didn't actually collect it. He collected it. Or maybe it was just chasing it. I don't know. Anyway. We have some bugs to sell. I'll probably sell those those uh, dung beetles, because we don't really need those. Well, actually, we might. I don't know. I mean, there's not really any potions that I want to upgrade. I mean, that I can think of. Except for more hard potions. I guess those could always be useful, but... I don't know. I just want to show this anyway, just in case you want to use it. Because it's kind of useful, like I said. Uh, Colin, what are you doing here? Man, when Goose gets sad, he gets downright miserable. He's always in his room sulking. When he does come in, he gets angry at everyone for no reason. Even me. Wait, here, you're the one responsible for Zelda going missing. This is your mess, so you better fix it. Oh yeah, Groose is in this game. I almost forgot, considering we haven't even seen him in, like, ever. Um, that's his room. Actually, we have to go into Colin and Stretch's room, because that's where... Not that room, that's my room. I thought that their room would be right across from his, because I thought it was, and so I just instinctively went into it. I guess it's right next to theirs. Maybe? Yeah, it is, okay. And then we have to actually take a nap in their bed, or actually we could take it in any bed, but... Uh, you see those bugs on the table? Yeah, that's a, a thing. I want... Is it... I wonder who's gonna sell the bug? Or we're gonna sell the bugs to? I wonder. Actually, he just has, like, a selection of bugs that he wants to buy per night, so anyway. Yeah, it's Stretch. He wants to talk to us, apparently. Oh, it's you, Bobbery. What do you want with me? I want to kill you. No, I'm kidding. Huh? What am I doing? <laughs> bugs. I'm looking at bugs. Oh. Yeah, that's not creepy. <laughs> bugs are amazing. Even more amazing than Groose in a lot of ways. Okay, that's... I, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not saying Groose isn't amazing as a bug. I mean, he is a bug. But... Look, I just really like bugs. I want to collect all kinds of bugs. Sometimes I even dream about having like an entire island full of bugs. That's really creepy. And actually sort of foreshadowing, but anyway. <laughs> how about this? Bobby, here's the plan. If you find a bug, come sell it to me. When it comes to bugs, rupees are no object. Uh, sure. I have bugs. I don't care. I don't need them for anything. I want money. <laughs> I usually hang out here at night. Yeah, you always hang out here at night. Um, yeah, you only do these deals at night because I don't know you're shady like that. Yes, I do want to sell you something. Stop talking. Oh my god. Fair and Grasshopper, Skyloft, Mantis, and Lanero Ant. Sure. How much? Uh, well, we haven't even been to this place yet, but I probably have some. Uh, let's just say Skyloft Mantis. You don't even have one of those. Oh, okay. No, I want to sell you a different bug. I want to sell at least one, just to, just to show up. Fair and Grasshopper. I don't even have one of these. Okay. Do I have a, a Lanero Ant, please? Okay, for one of those, how many rooms? How about 20? Oh, okay. I have, I have one. Well, we're going to that area anyway, so just, just take all of them, and by all of them, I mean one. Sure, I could use 20 rupees. Why not? Woohoo, 20 rupees. Great. 
Anyway, that's that's where you can sell bugs. That was a really awkward way to go back to that bed, because I was holding, like, the exact opposite direction, but I guess the camera was just, like, faced in a way, so that Link just automatically went back to that bed. And I just realized there was no music in that area. That's really weird at night. Anyway, um, the guy where we can sell items is actually in that, like, uh, the town area. I, I, I think he doesn't actually appear until a certain point in the game, but I'm pretty sure that's really early. Like, after you beat... Um, the, the, the Skyview Temple, maybe? Or after you return the, the uh, Emerald Relic thing? So he's, I'm pretty sure he's there. I'm pretty sure. And if he's not, well, then that's a shorter video for you, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's also a kind of a, uh, chance to show off the town area because we never really did that. And wow, I just really love making my, <laughs> making my stamina meter go all the way down. Yes, I do. Anyway, um, if you stand in front of the doors, it'll tell you what the people are like. Actually, no, it won't. Well, basically, this is the people that own the potion shop. They're not there, obviously, in the day. They're at the potion shop. Uh, I think... I think this is Pippet's house, maybe? Maybe his house is below this one. Uh... Oh. Oh, no, this is, um... The scrap shop guy's house, and that's his mom, I, I think. Yeah, I think it's his mom. Um, I know that's his house, though. Yeah. Because it'll say, if you if you enter her house and then go back to... Yeah, Scrap Shop Owner Gondo's house. So yeah. Um, below it is Pippet's house. And his mom is actually in there. I'm pretty sure we were in there. Or maybe I was in there during a cut just to go to sleep. Because that's kind of a convenient sleeping area. I think this is where the guy that sells... Uh, that buys the stuff from you is. Maybe he's only here at night. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is where it is, but I'm pretty sure he's only here at night, and I guess this is his wife? I love to collect antiques, you know. All the things in my house are very old and valuable. Make sure you don't break anything. Hmm. Oh my god. Look at all these valuable things. It would be a shame if I accidentally shook the nunchuck. He said it would be a shame if I accidentally shook the nunchuck. Oh no! Oh my god, I am so sorry. You broke my antique! Well, actually, it was probably more than one. You break it, you buy it. Let me see, though. It's a very expensive antique, so how about 20 rupees should suffice? What's it look for? Oh, you think I'm just making that number up? That's ridiculous. I know that value in every item in my possession, and I intend to be compensated in full. Well, I just sold a bug for 20 rupees, so your face was worth as much as a bug. How does that make you feel? <laughs> your livelihood is, mo is worth as much as a bug. Okay. And yeah, I'm pretty sure he's only here at night, and wow, even your sheets have rupees on it. That's a little... That's a little disconcerting. Maybe you should get help. Um... Oh yeah, he's here. Okay, it's the shop guy. Wow, he's not smiling for once, although his cheeks are still red. Ah, uh, hey, what do you need? Um... Um... So, what do you say, um? That means you, you don't have a good reason to be here, huh? What, you think I'm being gruff? You think I'm totally different during the day? Well, I get tired of having to be a smiley shopkeeper all day, all right? Just don't think this is the real me. Anyway, enough about that. You're here to make some money at my night market, am I right? Okay, that just sounds really bad. Night market? Ha, <laughs> ah, it's your first time here, isn't it? Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> night is when I do my buying, see? I buy treasure, but that's not to say I'll buy just any old thing. I only deal specific types of treasures. All right, let's get on with it, shall we? Hmm. Well, today I'm buying these treasures. Tumbleweed, Amber Relic, Monster Horn, and Golden Skull. Just these four, so what do you want to do? Okay, I'll sell. Um, well, I... Monster Horn? Well, actually, I have an abundance of Golden Skulls, probably. How much do they sell for? How many are just going to have for... 100? Oh, my God. You're selling 12. Um, I'll just sell one, because actually, like I said before, they're not that uncommon. And 100 rupees is actually kind of a lot for one treasure. Sure. I don't know what you're, you want to do with a golden skull. Well, that's a really close-up of your smiling face. Wow, you look like you need some sleep. And considering you're in the shop during the day and you don't apparently sleep during the night, yeah. Anyway, that's the item buying guy, and he works basically the same way as, as Stretch does. Like with the bugs, where he'll buy only a certain type, so... If you want him to change a stock, just, uh... Sleep until night, and it'll, you know, just go until night, so, you know, you don't, I mean, actually, you might not change it until you go to morning that night, I'm not positive, but, 
you should be fine just going until night again. Anyway, that's those two things, and I could show off more of this side of the town, but we'll be seeing it eventually. I mean, there's some quests that involve some of those houses, and the other ones really don't matter that much, like the scrap shop guy, but, um... The last thing I want to do in this part, and not, I'm glad it's right here, is go into the beetle shop, because I want to buy that extra upgrade to my adventure pouch. And in fact, I might be able to get two. Um, I'm not positive. Okay. Can I grab the rope from here? No? Okay, I guess I have to go down here. Aw. Wow, Link can jump high. I wish he could jump regularly. Why isn't there a jump button? And that's, that joke hasn't been made before. What the hell? Yeah, you gripped that rope, Link. Wow, that animation looks really stiff, like when he ungrips the rope. I don't know. Anyway, um, we could also get... Well, there's a bug metal here, but it just makes bugs appear more often, which isn't really that necessary. I think this is actually a thousand rupees. Maybe? Maybe it's only 800. Like I said before, it gives you basically another heart container, so... Oh, 800. Actually... Wait, let me see what I have in my adventure pouch, because I know it's full, because, like, that sea chest went to the item shop. That's not the thing. Uh, that's not it either. That's... no... Um... Treasure metal, my shield, and my bottles. Well, I need all of those, so I'm gonna buy another adventure pouch first. Because, yeah, this is where you're gonna be getting the, uh, your other three adventure pouches. And he raises the prices by... He raises the price by, I think, 200 rupees each time you buy a new one. Which is so bogus. And he's like, oh, me raise prices? You must be joking. So, yeah, if you go in and out of the store, he'll have another adventure pouch here, but I... Actually, I might be able to afford it, because if, if he raises 200 rupees, I think it'll only be 500. Also, I think I unquit unequip my shield when I... Yeah, I unequip my shield when I... Um... When I um, was pressing the select button to go to the thing, uh, so it's maybe it's six hundred. I don't know. Maybe it's at three hundred. That would be even more <laughs> bogus. Okay, it is six hundred. Um, I mean, I could just go sell like three golden skulls and get the heart thing, but eh, I mean, I'll, well, I'm gonna get it eventually. I mean, why not now? Sure. There we go. I'll just get that. Wow. Okay. One more left, and I'm I'm positive it's going to be up 300 more. Yeah, you keep raising prices. You watch. Uh, I'll get you one day. Anyway, that's that's that, and I clearly don't have any more rupees to spend on anything else I want, unless I want to go sell some stuff, which I really don't need to. I was just doing that to show stuff. Oh my god, I got hurt by... Ugh. Anyway, I'm going to go sit on a bench, and we're going to end off the part here, because it's been going on for quite a long time, apparently. Well, probably not that long, because I had to speed some stuff up, but I'm going to sit on this bench and contemplate my life. So, uh, yeah, in the next part of Skyward Sword, we'll go down into the yellow, uh, where Zelda is. Yeah, that's where we're going to go to. Where the circle tells me to go is that's where I'm going to go. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you then.